This was an incredible feat for a private company to accomplish. And I'd like to bring in former NASA scientist, Tanya Harrison, to help put things into perspective for us. Tanya, how important was the success of this flight and others like it to the future of space travel? This is a really big moment for the commercial space industry, and that helps us out for space travel in general because we're seeing a lot of partnerships being made between government space agencies like NASA and these commercial companies that really push the envelope when it comes to innovation. And Virgin Galactic has been working on this since 2004, so just seeing them finally be successful with a fully crewed launch is fantastic. I got to admit, I didn't expect it to be such a short journey. <laughs> what can you say about that? Just, you know, for people who don't get it at home who are trying to figure this out. Uh, space is actually not that far away. If you just look straight up, we're talking about getting from the ground out of the atmosphere. And so a lot of these flights, I think, are much shorter than people expect. There's about, uh, you know, a few minutes of weightlessness that you experience before you come back down and eventually land. <laughs> We're just coming out of a pandemic, though, of course, and a lot of people are struggling. Some balk at the sheer expense of these launches, along with the environmental impact. Is it worth it? I think the thing to remember is that it's not like this money is just being literally shot out into space. There are tens of thousands of people that are employed across the country in the aerospace sectors working on these missions. Uh, at Virgin alone, they have a thousand employees right now. And so these you know, help feed people, keep people housed. I, I work in the space industry, so you know it, it helps me, which is really, really fantastic. Um, and there are concerns to be had for sure in terms of like environment, environmental impact of launches. Um, and these are things that we should think about as space launches become more frequent. Um, at this point, we don't do them nearly enough that they cause much of an impact on the atmosphere. But if we get to a point where we're doing launches every single day with multiple companies, then we're really going to want to take a look at that. Right, because there are different goals for each space flight, uh, as we know. Is this the exclusive realm of billionaires like Branson, Bezos, and Musk? Could it become more accessible for the rest of us? Should it, though, especially when you consider, as you mentioned, that environmental impact? Well, the price should come down over time. You know, if we look at aircraft or travel by airplanes when flights were new, you know, for passengers, you were talking $5,000 just to fly from Boston to Los Angeles, for example. But as the flights become more frequent uh, and the demand gets higher, we would naturally see these prices come down. And hopefully over time, you know, these are the, the test vehicles in a lot of cases. So we can develop things that are greener technologies where we can fit more people, make it more cost effective and more environmentally friendly down the line. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you so much for sharing this insight, Tanya. Thanks for having me.